Hello guys, my name is Jinaba Surmanyam. I am studying ECE at UVIT College Guntur. My role number is 20BQ18056. Today our topic is about properties of polymers. Properties of polymers. In these properties of polymers, the properties of polymers largely depend on their structure characters. On this basis of their structure variation, the properties of polymers are discussed as the two types physical properties and mechanical properties. In physical properties, we have crystallinity, viscosity, boiling point, and melting point, and finally, glass temperature, transient temperature. And we have the mechanical properties are strength, hardness, tensile strength, and elasticity. First, we talk about the crystallinity of polymer in crystallinity of polymer is the one of the important properties of polymers in general polymers may exist in both crystalline and amorphous forms as we see these pictures we can see the crystalline and polycrystal and amorphous forms of the polymer later the crystallinity is measured in the order line if polymers are arranged in regular order they become perfectly packed and crystalline therefore stereoregular polymers like isostatic and synodiastatic are seen as the given pictures we can get uh, as crystalline if polymers are arranged in random or disordered manner then there exists the polymer in emission nature example hashtag polymer viscosity as the chain length of polymer increases viscosity increases Every 10 times increment in polymer chain length, its viscosity increase 10,000 times as seen in the graph. Boiling point or melting point. Polymers are not having specific boiling point or melting point due to variation of intermolecular interaction. Both one gas transition temperature. This is the temperature at which the polymer has been changed from glass state hard to rubber state soft or flexible is terminated by glass transition temperature as seen in the graph. The Tg has been a glass Terminating temperature can be then mechanical properties strength of the polymer strength of a polymer is measured of magnitude of intermolecular forces operated between the polymer chains as the chain length of the polymer or degree of the polymerization increases the magnitude of these intermolecular forces increases and finally strength of the polymer increases as seen the strength of the polymer the wooden block as set the rubber as polymer strip with two centimeters cut it has hanged to the mass and the second one hardness of the polymer polymers which are having a cross link covalent bonds or 3d network they are hard to polymers therefore thermosets are very hard example pheno formal dehyde resin urea formal resin resin melamine formal dehyde resin and vulcanized rubber here is the the phenol formal dehyde resin as shown in the figure and urea formal dehyde resin here and the third one melamine formal dehyde resin as shown in the figure structure and finally vulcanized rubber as a tire we used it as tires in our bikes and vehicles then the tensile strength load bearing capability of a polymer as the chain length increases the magnitude of intermolecular forces in and increases and hence the tensile strength of the polymer also increases Fourth one elasticity of polymers elasticity is the property by venue of which the polymers change its shape under stress but recovers its original shape when the stress is realized. Generally, these polymers are known as elastomers. Elastomers can stretch up from 500 to 1000% elongation and return to their original length without any difficulty. This is because unstructured polymer is randomly arranged where a stretched polymer becomes regular structure like symmetrical. You can see the random arrangement as having high autonomy and when it's been stretched then the stretched arrangement having low autonomy. Thanks for watching.